Hello, Jerry. This is Dr. Dan Labash, and uh, this is not uh, exactly my professional studio setup, as you can see. I just wanted to help you out quickly. So what I have here is a is a is a inserter, and I'm unscrewing it, and you can see on the end here is the is the, where the magnet is right here, and if I take a needle and I put it on the end and it hangs just like that. It doesn't hang, uh, I mean it, it, it isn't really tight but that's how it is and I'm going to uh, show you now how you would do it which I'm sure you did know because it sounded like you knew exactly what to do. If you put it in the end here and let it drop in by the handle and then with the handle down here Turn it upright, but maintain the the heightened position. So that, then, then all you have to do, I'll show you here, is is put it on the hand or wherever you're going to do it. Let it go. Now sometimes, if it's a callus tissue, you may want to do it a second time, and then lift it off, and there you have it. You see, it's it's not wobbly. It's sticking right in there. See that? Now the, the downside is, of course, as you said, you do have to uh, load it into the into the unit, and you have to be be careful not to contaminate the tip. And then again, hold it hold it up here with your index finger, you see, and then place it where you want it. Let's say uh, right here on the thumb. like that. Now if you want to do an angled insertion, I don't recall if that's part of Master Tong's approach, but if you do an angled insertion, then you have to tap it in like that. You have to tap it because when when the inserter is on an angle, there actually isn't much weight going pushing it down because uh, some of the weight is this way, some of the weight is this way. <clears throat> so you may have to tap it in the way I did there, and uh, okay. So there you have there you have it. So let's uh, I'm going to take a look at this video and see how it is, and then uh, then I'm going to try to upload it to YouTube. Okay, thanks. Bye.